Hey folks, welcome to your part two August 2022 video scope. Uh, thanks for uh, visiting. Thanks for subscribing if you feel moved. I'm a soul coach who works with uh, coaching a lot with light workers right now as we're moving through the old density patterns and how some of that needs to shift and is shifting. And then I'm also available for personal sessions and channeled content for my subscribers over on Patreon. So the big news, the second half of this month is on the 20th. Mars is heading into Gemini all year um, and will station retrograde on the, um, at 25 degrees of Gemini at the end of October. So Mars won't head into Cancer until March 2023, March 25th. So this Mars in Gemini is really an odyssey and a journey for all of us in how we work with our mind and our internal narratives and our thought forms. A lot of thought forms were born at earlier times that are much more habitual. So this is an opportunity to become much more aware of your um instinctual and often unconscious patterns in your communication, your inner narratives. Mars through Gemini is also going to be bringing a, uh, quite a focus on local communities now. Local communities and movement and action in local communities. And, you know, this is where the power is, right? You know, this is where your power is, is through the local community uh, things that you can work with, things that you can positively affect um, people's lives that you can touch and elevate in some fashion. Mars and Gemini has to do with school systems. It has to do with transportation and mobility. And I do feel with this Mars retrograding, uh, we can see a slowdown in all kinds of mobility. I don't feel like they want us moving around a whole lot. Uh, as we're heading into uh, the fall time period. Um, but uh, it is a good time to also think about your, your mobility, uh, cars, uh, computers, communication devices, your siblings, your relatives, um, your neighbors. So this is really bringing up the relational side of action and energy as well. Now, um, and to be aware of things that you may need if you've noticed especially any glitch in um, the delivering of things uh, because the transportation and the supply chain, I can certainly conceive of uh, really going through um, some slowdowns as Mars is slowing down in October when it retrogrades at the end of October. You just want to be aware of that um, uh, information and things that you may need and communication patterns, etc. But it's really going to be bringing a great deal of focus to your communication patterns and the energy in where you live, whether that be a state, a city, a town. The focus is coming into your local and more regional areas for growth and development now. Now, as we head to the 24th, uh, certainly Uranus is stationing retrograde here, and this is at 18 degrees of Taurus. He will be retrograde until January 22nd. So, we have the time when these big generational planets are stationing, especially with the retrograde, everything's retrograde now. So, so much of the focus is on uh, changes that you're integrating with Uranus stationing retrograde, but we can see some developments with resources, food, farming, money, uh, as Uranus stations retrograde on the 24th, 15 degrees of Taurus, He'll station direct in mid-January. Now you have the time to bring the changes that you feel are needed in your own life, your own perception, your own resources, your value systems. And he'll station direct on the 22nd of January at 15 degrees of Taurus. 
So what's happening here is we really are moving into another Uranus-Saturn square that's going to be in effect. It's not perfect. It's going to be effect, in effect from uh, September through October. And we understand what that is at the external level. This is control mechanisms asserted on populations on the internal level. It is the moving from these denser, fearful patterns into your ascension, into your personal growth. Uh, an expression we so often learn through stress and crisis and challenge, uh, the humans. Um, but it's an opportunity uh, to bring more uh, freedom uh, in all manner in both your mind and heart. And your self-love is a big thing right now. Even the light workers on planet, they are needing to move beyond self-limiting thoughts and programming. Uh, that has been quite intentional, um, uh, limiting beliefs about self-confidence and self-worth. This is a big focus now. On the 27th, Venus will move into square this energy. So we're going to get a sense of what this is. Uh, with Venus in Leo, 19 degrees, children, our love, our heart, our creativity is opposing Saturn at 19 degrees of Aquarius and squaring this separating Uranus node uh, conjunction. Uh, so be very aware of what this passage can mean for us going forward. And um, this may be a little bit of a bumpy time with relationships and to be aware of that, but more so awareness about your own relationship with yourself, the primary relationship. On the 25th of the month, uh, Mercury heads into Libra, right? So we're seeing relationship energy as a focus here. And Mercury is going to retrograde in Libra on September 9th until the first week in October. Uh, so this will be a review pattern here too uh, with justice systems, equality, court decisions, uh, relationship patterns, inner balance, inner harmony, um, relating on all levels, uh, beauty, uh, support systems. So be aware of that. Now, Mercury retrograde is always about don't buy new big ticket items, perhaps, like technology um, and cars and computers. But Mercury retrograde is giving us all the breathing space to review our relationship with ourself and with others. Relationship with self first and foremost, because that informs our relationships with others. And then we have the new moon on the 27th of August, and this occurs in Virgo at four degrees. So this is external developments with the day-to-day -day of things. Uh, with health systems, uh, with your work, with your health, uh, with your pet, with your, with your business, with your product, with your services. Mercury rules Virgo. So remember, new developments at this new moon will be capitalizing on former connections, ideas, and contacts uh, that you have the space now to build upon. And so there is a part of uh, Venus Libra that is informing this new moon in Virgo with products and services and the way you live and your health and reaching out for relationship uh, with others in a balanced, healing, nurturing way. Much love, everybody. Be well.